We're counting down the eight electric cars you will want to wait for before making your next big purchase. From jaw-dropping luxury tech sedans to ultra-affordable urban crossovers, these 2026 models promise massive leaps in range, charging, and onboard software, making most current electric vehicles look instantly outdated. Which next-gen ride tops our list, and why? Let's kick things off with number eight. Number eight on the countdown is already making waves. The Afila One, a luxury sedan built by Sony and Honda, is not just another electric car. It feels like a rolling tech showcase. Sony's fingerprints are everywhere, from the wraparound infotainment screens to the nearly 40 sensors packed into the cabin and bodywork. That is right, 40 sensors including cameras, radar, lidar, and ultrasonic systems. The goal is to turn every drive into a personalized, screen-rich experience with AI and gaming DNA straight from Sony's playbook. Signature pre-orders are open now, with first deliveries to California planned for mid-2026. The price is $89,900 to start, squarely in luxury territory, but aiming to outdo Lucid and Tesla on user experience, not just hardware. The EPA estimated range is approximately 300 miles. That is solid, but not record-breaking, so this one is all about the in-car tech. Think of it as the EV for people who care more about their dashboard than their driveway. There is a catch. New brand, new software, and a reservation system that is rumored to be less forgiving than Tesla's. Early adopters could end up as beta testers for Sony's vision of the future. If you want a car that might finally make your phone jealous, the Afila One is the one to watch. This is where the next generation of in-car tech starts. If you are obsessed with screens, sensors, and software, it might be worth the wait. Number seven on the list is the Volvo EX60. Volvo's first mid-size premium EV built on the all-new SPA3 platform. The official reveal is locked in for January 21st, 2026, with production set to kick off in the first half of the year at the Torslanda plant in Sweden. What is under the skin is what matters most. SPA A3 brings an 800-volt backbone, a major leap from Volvo's previous EVs. That means less heat, thinner cables, and most importantly, for road trippers, much faster charging. Volvo is targeting a peak charge rate close to 360 kilowatts, putting it in the same league as the fastest charging EVs on the market. But this is not just about speed at the plug. Volvo's reputation is built on safety, and the EX60 doubles down on that promise. The battery pack is integrated directly into the car structure, with reinforced enclosures designed to protect against side impacts. In late 2025, a prototype EX60 failed a critical side impact crash test, forcing a six-week scramble to reinforce the B-pillar and battery shield. Engineers did not cut corners, they delayed the reveal rather than rush a fix. That is the kind of conservative engineering that cautious luxury buyers trust. With the SPA3 platform, you get more than just numbers on a spec sheet. The 800 volt system means shorter charging stops. If you find a compatible station, you are looking at hundreds of miles of range added in minutes, not half an hour. And because Volvo is building this one in Sweden, buyers can expect the same quality control that has made their SUVs a staple in safety conscious garages. For anyone who has been waiting for a luxury EV that does not gamble on unproven tech, the EX60 is the safe bet. It may not have the most screens or the flashiest badge, but it delivers where it counts, speed and trust. Slotting in at number 6 is the Kia EV2, a car that is about to blow the doors off what you thought an affordable electric could be. This is not a premium badge or a luxury gamble. The EV2 is Kia's first B-segment electric SUV, and it is gunning for under 25,000 euros. That is not a typo. On January 9, 2026, it makes its world premiere at the Brussels Motor Show and the buzz is already rippling through city streets and budget forums alike. The EV2 is all about getting first-time buyers and city dwellers off the fence. Kia has been laser-focused on hitting that magic number under 25,000 euros by trimming the fat. Expect practical interiors, a compact footprint, and just enough tech to keep things fresh without driving up the cost. The company is leaning on proven battery chemistry LFP or basic NMC cells, and a simplified feature set. No fancy audio, no panoramic roof, just the essentials, five doors, a solid heater, and a projected urban range around 225 miles. 
That is more than enough for daily commutes, grocery runs, and the occasional weekend trip, especially if you live somewhere with dense charging infrastructure. Kia's strategy here is aggressive. By launching the EV2 below the price of most used electric vehicles, they are betting big on scale. Think millions of potential buyers across Europe who have been priced out of the EV market until now. The trade-off is that you should not expect lightning fast charging or luxury trimmings. The EV2 will likely max out at 100 to 150 kilowatts direct current fast charging, and some advanced driver assists will be optional or left out entirely. But for shoppers who just want a clean, modern car that will not break the bank, this is the one to watch. There is a reason this car lands in the middle of our list. It is not about specs that make headlines, it is about dropping the cost of entry so low that the EV2 could become the first electric for an entire new generation of drivers. That is a game changer for the mass market, and it is exactly why waiting for 2026 makes sense if you are on a budget. Number 5 on the countdown is the BMW iX3, and this is where the numbers start to get wild. BMW is targeting around 400 miles of range on a single charge in U.S. testing, right in the territory of the Tesla Model Y, but with a twist. The new i class platform underneath the iX3 is not just about stretching miles, it is about charging speed that could make pit stops almost fun. BMW claims a peak DC fast charging rate of 400 kilowatts. That adds roughly 200 to 230 miles of range in about 10 minutes if you find a charger beefy enough to deliver it. The battery pack uses a new cylindrical cell design with a usable capacity just shy of 109 kilowatt hours and the dual motor setup cranks out about 463 horsepower. But here's the asterisk, those 400 kilowatt numbers look great on the brochure, but real world charging depends on the whole curve, not just the one second peak. Battery temperature, state of charge, and charger congestion can all pull that number down. On a cold morning or a busy road trip weekend, you might see less than half that speed. Charging networks in the US and Europe are racing to build out 350 to 400 kilowatt chargers, but only a fraction of stations will reliably deliver those numbers in 2026. What BMW is really selling is future-proofing. The iX3's 800 volt electrical system bi-directional charging and next-gen software stack are all designed for the next decade, not just the next model year. If you are tired of Tesla's head start on range and charging, the iX3 finally gives you a real alternative. Just remember, the charging curve in the station you pull into matter as much as the badge on the hood. Genesis isn't just dipping its toes into the luxury EV pool, it's cannonballing straight into the deep end with the GV90. This is the brand's first true flagship electric SUV, and the numbers alone should get the attention of anyone eyeing a Mercedes EQS or BMW iX. The GV90 is expected to slot above the already plush GV80, with pricing estimates starting north of $100,000. That's right, Genesis is officially playing in the six-figure league for the 2026 model year, with pilot builds rumored to kick off as early as late 2025. But the GV90 isn't just about a price tag. Genesis has built its reputation on stuffing more features into its cars than the price would suggest, and the GV90 looks set to double down on that formula. Early briefings point to a full three-row layout, ultra-premium materials, and a feature list that reads like a greatest hits of luxury tech. Think executive rear seats, a panoramic glass roof, and next-generation infotainment. Expect a full suite of advanced driver assistance features, including hands-off highway cruising and AI-powered parking. The cabin is rumored to rival the best from Europe, with a focus on quiet, comfort, and seamless digital integration. Under the skin, the GV90 is expected to ride on an 800-volt platform, giving it rapid charging credentials to match its German rivals. While final EPA range numbers are still under wraps, Genesis is aiming for competitive figures in the 300 miles plus club. The real story though is value. Genesis has a habit of undercutting the Germans on price while over delivering on features. And if the GV90 lands with all the rumored tech and refinement, it could force BMW and Mercedes to rethink what buyers expect for six figures. For top tier shoppers, the GV90 is a reason to pause before locking in that next luxury SUV. It's not just about keeping up with the Joneses, it's about getting more for your money without sacrificing style or substance 
substance. If you're waiting for a luxury EV that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the old guard and still feel fresh, the GV90 might be the best power move of 2026. Sliding into the bronze spot is the Mercedes-Benz CLA EV, and this is where flagship tech finally gets democratized. Mercedes is not just shrinking its EV lineup, it is distilling everything that made the EQS a software powerhouse and packing it into a compact, more affordable sedan. The headline here is the battery, roughly 85 kilowatt hours of usable capacity, giving the CLA EV a manufacturer teased range of about 395 miles on a single charge. That is not a typo, nearly 400 miles in a car that is easier to park than an S-Class. But the real flex is not just the battery, it is the MBUX AI suite straight from the top shelf. Mercedes is loading the CLA EV with a next generation interface that learns your routines, responds to natural voice commands, and gets smarter with every OTA update. This is not the clunky, laggy infotainment you are used to. Think AI-driven navigation that reroutes around traffic before you even ask and a digital assistant that actually understands context. Charging speed is another ace up its sleeve. The CLA EV rides on the new MMA platform designed from the ground up for 800 volt architecture. That means when you find a true high power charger, you are looking at rapid top ups that rival anything in the luxury class. Mercedes is betting that by 2026, enough public stations will deliver the juice to make long distance travel painless. And with AI managing preconditioning and charging routes, the car does half the planning for you. What makes the CLA EV such a high impact weight is the trickle down effect. For the first time, Mercedes flagship software and battery management are not locked behind a six-figure price tag. Mainstream buyers get a taste of the best in the business, AI, efficiency range, and a user experience that feels genuinely next-gen. If you are weighing whether to buy a current luxury EV or hold out, this is the benchmark for what is about to become the new normal. Ferrari's first all-electric flagship doesn't just break tradition, it detonates it. The Electrica is no compliance car or side project. This is Marinello's answer to the electric vehicle age, and it is not shy about its ambitions. Ferrari has built the Electrica around a monster 122 kilowatt hour battery, running at up to 880 volts, paired with four in-house electric motors, two on each axle. That setup delivers over 1,000 horsepower in boost mode, launching this four-seat GT to 100 kilometers per hour in just 2.5 seconds. Flat out, it will hit 310 kilometers per hour, or about 193 miles per hour, numbers that put it firmly in supercar territory, no gasoline required. The battery itself is a technical showpiece. Ferrari's engineers managed to hit 195 watt-hours per kilogram at the pack level, with the majority of the mass tucked under the floor for a low center of gravity. The pack is protected by layers of crash structures, and the inverters use silicon carbide technology for 93% efficiency at maximum power. The Electrica's 350 kilowatt direct current fast charging capability means it can gulp down enough electrons for a track stint or a cross-country blast in minutes, assuming you can find a charger beefy enough to keep up. But the real statement is cultural. For decades, Ferrari was the last word in combustion. When the board signed off on a fully electric car in 2023, veteran engineers reportedly threatened to walk. Instead, they built a four-motor, all-wheel drive monster with independent torque at each wheel, rear wheel steering, and a central brain coordinating every move. The result is a car that promises the drama and control Ferrari owners expect, but with the instant punch and silence of electric power. Range is not the headline. Ferrari quotes over 530 kilometers on the European test cycle, or about 330 miles. That is more than enough for a grand tour. But the Electrica is not about daily commutes or road trip economics. It is about proving that battery technology is finally good enough for the world's most demanding performance brand. The price, if you have to ask, you're not getting an allocation. Production will be limited and every slot will be a collector's item. 
The Electrica is a signal flare. If Ferrari is all in on electric, the era of real electric vehicles has arrived. This is not just a fast car, it is a line in the sand. For everyone else, the message is clear. The last holdouts have joined the revolution. The only reason this car isn't number one is most of us will never even see one in the wild, but its impact will ripple through every electric vehicle that comes after. Meet the Kia EV4, the compact electric crossover that is about to make waiting feel like a power move. For anyone tired of vaporware and endless concept teasers, this is the real deal. United States sales are locked in for first quarter 2026, with production already humming at Kia's Autoland Guangmyung plant. Unlike the luxury exotics or six-figure SUVs, the EV4 is built for everyday life, commutes, grocery runs, school drop-offs, and the occasional weekend escape. It is practical, efficient, and crucially, it is actually going to be on dealer lots, while most rivals are still hyping prototypes. Kia is not phoning it in on choice either. The EV4 launches with three trims, light, wind, and GT line, so you are not stuck paying for features you do not want or missing out on ones you do. Whether you want the basics or a bit of extra zip and tech, there is a version with your name on it. EP. A estimated range target sit in the 250 to 300 mile zone, which means you can knock out a week's worth of errands or a solid road trip before thinking about charging. And when you do need a top up, the EV4's 800 volt platform lets it hit up to 175 kilowatts on a DC fast charger. That is good for adding a couple hundred miles in about 20 minutes, assuming the station delivers. No, it is not a 400 mile monster, but it is right in the sweet spot for most real world drivers, and it will not keep you waiting at the plug. The real headline here is accessibility. The EV4 is not chasing headlines with wild acceleration or luxury gimmicks. It is about giving mainstream buyers a no-excuses electric car that just works. You get a roomy interior with smart storage, a tech setup that does not require a PhD to use, and a design that feels modern without screaming for attention. It is the kind of car you can recommend to your neighbor, your parents, or your best friend who is finally ready to ditch gas but does not want to gamble on something unproven. This is why the EV4 lands at number one. It is the first of the next generation of EVs that is actually within reach for a huge slice of the market. While the rest of the industry is busy racing to the top or squeezing every last cent out of early adopters, Kia is quietly building the electric car that most people actually need. If you want a car that nails the basics and is ready to buy in early 2026, the EV4 is the one to circle on your calendar. For the first time, waiting is not just about getting more tech or better range, it is about getting a car that fits your life, your budget, and your timeline. That is why it is at the top of the scoreboard. Across all eight entries, one truth stands out. 2026 is not just about better electric vehicles. It is a generational leap in tech, charging, and value across every segment. This wave resets expectations, making it smarter to wait than to settle. Electric vehicles are not just evolving, they are about to disrupt themselves. The next chapter starts in 2026. Which game changer would you pick? Drop your answer below and join the conversation.